most young American men are not physically fit to serve in any branch in the military. But that's not even the real problem. This is what scares the crap out of me. So if you have not seen the study, there's been a couple, actually. The great majority of military-aged men in America are not physically able to sign up for the military to even try to get through basic training. Now, ruling out actual medical conditions, some kind of other disorder where they actually can't, we're still dealing with the majority of the fighting age men not being physically able to go to basic. So a lot of people who haven't served take that as basic training being that hard. But I got some bad news for you guys, especially for the young men who are interested in joining. Even if you're not deploying to go to war, just serving, especially in a combat arms unit, the physical fitness required to get through basic training, it is nothing, guys. Absolutely nothing. Especially considering that the Army is going back to the old APFT. Push up, sit ups, and run two miles. The fact is, the physical standards for basic training are extremely easy, and I'll tell you why. Once you get through basic, when you get to your unit and you start doing real grunt or any other combat arms training, that's when it really gets demanding. So you start going out to do your field training <laughs> and you'll know what physically challenging and being tired is. And if you deploy, you'll look back on basic and you will laugh. That's when it really gets tough. And I'll even say this, a lot of the field training, at least how we did it, it was harder. It was tougher than actual combat because we want to be training harder, as hard as we possibly can. We want the scenarios to be more challenging than we might deal with. We want the enemy to be more deadly than what we might encounter. So at least when you actually get down there and start dealing with war, you're prepared. Plan for the worst, hope for the best. So people think, well, you gotta take your PT test in basic, you gotta do ruck marches, you gotta do some obstacle courses. But let me share something with you guys that you don't know unless you've actually been through it. When you take your PT test in basic, you're not just waking up fresh and fit to do that test. You're already smoked and exhausted. You know, you've got morning duties that everybody's responsible for. The drill sergeants are probably bored, so they're smoking your ass all morning. You're carrying water jugs out to the PT field. If you're not carrying stuff, you're running out to the PT field. If you're like me, who was already pretty fit and active before going, you're starving. I was absolutely starving my entire time in basic training. You're also not rested. I know they say everybody gets seven to eight hours a night, but I've talked to drill sergeants who have been on the trail, at least at Fort Benning recently, and they still find ways to mess with Joe at night. So you're tired, physically smoked, and you're starving. Now go do the PT test. And not to say that it's that hard. I think any young man should be able to pass the APFT in any condition. When you get to the active duty infantry world, you're most likely gonna be taking it drunk or extremely hungover. That's just the nature of being a, a 19, 20 year old kid in the freaking grunt world. Now with ruck marches, you don't just wake up in the morning with a planned ruck march and you get to go out there and destroy your feet, give 100% and be exhausted and then that's it for the day. No, the great majority of your ruck marches are anywhere from four to six miles out to a range. So we did a six miler out to our known distance rifle range, did the range all day, did everything involved with a range, getting smoked because you're a stupid private doing stupid things, got some dinner chow, packed our shit up and rucked the six miles back home. So think about that type of physical activity during the day. Our hand grenade range was over eight miles. So that was a forced ruck for eight miles, do hand grenades and everything else associated with that all day. And then we did an overnight bivouac, it pissed down raining, 
didn't sleep for shit. Did another four miles over to another rifle range. Did that all day long. Getting smoked, doing Joe stuff all day. Then we packed up our shit and we rucked about 12 miles. Forced ruck pace all the way back to the barracks. So now you're starting to understand what I'm talking about. And guys, the daily physical activity you have to put up with, it doesn't even compare to once you actually get to your unit. You're doing unit PT. Then you go on a deployment. Actual life or death situations and missions. Then you'll see what actual combat fitness is like. So the point is, people are freaked out about young American men not being able to get into basic training where physically speaking, that's nothing. You'll, when you look back, you will laugh at that experience. Guys who have served and who have been deployed, let us know down in the comments, back me up on this. What you deal with physically and basic is absolutely nothing. So now let's talk about these studies. We have American men who can't even get into the introduction to physical fitness in the military. That's how bad off this country is. I laughed my way through the physical part because I grew up baseball and football all year round. Played in a metal band right before I joined. I was a fit and active dude. So when all the Call of Duty kids, all these lazy American adults, they try to give me shit like, we don't want to just be fit to fight. You know what guys, when I started training with foreign militaries, they laughed at our lack of fitness. It's the greatest superpower in the world. They laughed at how we did PT because for especially a lot of the Europeans, walking with a pack on, that's something their five-year-old kids do with them once a week. So when people give me shit and they say I'm mean and I'm hard on these kids for being weak, you're not just weak, guys. You are so weak. You can't even serve in the most woke, bureaucratic, softened up military the world has known. That is the problem. That's why these studies scare the shit out of me. If you're not one of these weak guys, awesome. Good for you. Keep doing good things. For everybody else, we've got work to do. Let's do it.